and welcome to But I Digress, the vlog where sometimes my mouth goes faster than my brain. I am your host, Nathan, call me Nate Marchand. As you've probably figured out by now, I am a huge comic book fan. So I was really excited to see The Dark Knight Rises, the epic conclusion to Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy. In fact, I saw it at midnight in IMAX. It's a little late to review the movie, so I thought I would review the Blu-ray, which I'm going to be leaving here in a few minutes to go pick up at midnight at Target. I'm getting their super duper special edition. And thanks to the Den Act, I know my copy won't get stolen before it gets there. <sighs> I'm sorry, Jeremy. I have to do this. Most of you, especially my fellow nerds, are grateful for the protection that Blu-ray distributors have thanks to the Dent Act. But let me tell you about my friend Jeremy Shear from Buffalo Grove, Illinois. Four years ago, Jeremy was the world's biggest Batman fan. He obsessed over the Dark Knight dressing up as Batman for his YouTube show, and trying to fight crime. Then right before the movie was released, his show was hijacked by this maniac who thought he himself was the Joker. He was about as intimidating as Batmite, but I digress. Jeremy took him down, but not before the loon screwed with his Batmobile <laughs> to avoid going to jail. They had a goofy fight, which Jeremy recorded for some reason and posted on YouTube? But the weirdo managed to escape. When the movie was about to hit Blu-ray, that goofball returned to plunge Buffalo Grove's nerd-slash-geek population into chaos by stealing all the copies of the movie before they hit stores. Even with the help of D.A. Harvey Dent, who looks a lot like Kermit the Frog, they must be cousins or something. Anyway, they couldn't stop him. When the dust settled, the Joker was caught. And Harvey was gone. And Jeremy was responsible for everything. He hasn't been seen in costume since. I know Buffalo Grove's police commissioner. He gave me this letter. He was going to read it to everybody. But he couldn't do it, so I said I would. It's the truth about what really happened. You all deserve to know before it's... <laughs> Without being mocked, 
It was high school all over again. Prison was a locker room full of evil jocks. So I escaped. I ran. Until I came to a place where no one recognized me. Across the border. Into Mexico. There. Desperate and starving. I took the only job where my talents and nerdiness could be appreciated and my identity hidden from the authorities. I became a luchador. Not my finest moment. The ring became my new home, where I learned the truth about despair. My managers forced me to take steroids, bloating my muscles to obscene size, and reducing me to a monosyllabic oaf. For years, I battled in the ring, capable of uttering only a few words, like bomb and brain, which became my new name, my new identity. But even in my roid rage, I craved vengeance against you. I even named my signature move. In your honor, the Bat Breaker. It was the only thing that kept me sane. Well, sort of. Finally, my manager took me to a fiesta, like I was his dog. My mind cleared, and I told him I was going to leave. He asked, Really? What's the first part of your escape plan? I replied, Crushing this party with no survivors? So I ate everything in sight, beat him up, and left. Now I am here to fulfill the Joker's destiny! Oh. This voice is difficult to maintain. I think I need a cough drop. Let us not stand on ceremony, Mr. Shear. Peace has cost you your entertainment value. Victory has made you boring. You have posted no new videos as the Batman, or gone to midnight showings in costume. You try to lose your fans, but their numbers diminish. Perhaps they have realized you are nothing without that costume. And even then, what made you think you could play the Dark Knight with your unintelligible Clint Eastwood impersonation and your scrawny body? I am built more like Batman than you are. cared about you since you took yours off. Theatricality and fandom are powerful agents to the uninitiated, but we are uninitiated, aren't we, Jeremy? Members of the League of Batfans, and you betrayed us! So why don't I just beat you up? You do not fear pain. You welcome it. Your punishment must be more severe. Rejection? Yes. 
but not of your videos, of your, uh, self. Yes, yes. Yourself. There is a reason why YouTube is the worst hell on earth. Hope. Every man who has posted here over the years has believed he could achieve stardom. So easy, so simple. But like hapless nerds trying to impress beautiful women, many have failed trying. So, as I troll you on YouTube, I will feed you hope to poison your ego. I will let you believe you can be famous and watch as disinterested fans dislike your videos and watch Gangnam Style for the thousandth time. I will show them that you are dull. And then, when you truly understand the depths of your rejection, I will fulfill the Joker's destiny. I will hack your account, and then, when it is done, and your YouTube channel is deleted, you have my permission to cry and whine to your mother. You, mama's boy. Ugh. And then let the games begin. Probably be an important plot point later. <sighs>